High traders were of words between Trump and North Korea drove the S&P 500 down by 1.4% last week. So far this year we haven't seen the normal 5-10% to pullback. The last pullback happened 18 months ago in February 2016. So are we looking at the beginning of a new pullback now? Well I doubt it. The interest rate is still low, economic data is still getting better and the geopolitical crises are usually a good opportunity to buy. This week pay attention to the Walmart and Home Depot reports and to the Fed protocols published on Wednesday. Let's take a technical view of the market. When I take a look at the S&P 500 I can see that the market did move down from the highs however take a look at this very lovely support it's a 2450 area at the S&P 500 so we are being supported at what was the previous uh, resistance and right now possibly continue higher now again it's very very hard to focus geopolitical moves However, based on the economy reports, based on everything that I see around interest rate as I mentioned before, we should have support at that area, buyers should come in at that area like happened plenty of times throughout this year. So I think that's the point where the market should continue moving higher. Let's take a look at last week's picks. Last week we had JD4 long which did great over 4.5% now at 3% gain I sell 3 quarters and the last quarter has a stop right now at the, at the entry point meaning I no longer hold the last quarter because the market came down the stock itself came down too with the market so I no longer hold JD it was a lovely trade for 3 quarters of the size. My second pick last week was Caterpillar. Caterpillar did move into the trigger area and is at risk because it's down approximately 1.8%. The stop loss will be 3% as always. I never lose on my swing trades more than 3%. So hopefully if the market is going to stop and continue higher Caterpillar may recover with the market but remember stop loss is at 3%. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is SPPI long over $9.27. Now you all know that I don't usually buy stocks under $10 so why did I, why would I buy SPPI? Well the, the, the reason is very simple. First of all take a look at the technical formation you can't find that. A very nice uh, upside momentum with a very nice bull flag but still is under $10. The reason is very simple. Institutional buyers start buying stocks over $10 however investors or traders like me know that they will come over $10 so they start buying just below $10 so I do expect that individuals will drive the price higher over 10 and then the institutions will move in over 10. So SPPI for long for this week. My second pick for the week is Yelp long over $42.33. Again a very strong upside move it's totally ignoring the market. Very nice bull flag formation and hopefully a continuation. So Yelp looks great for long for next week. I wish you a great trading week and see you next week. Traders if you like to learn trading trade live with me and get a funded account without risking your money click in this corner in order to learn more about my funded accounts program and if you're not subscribed to this channel just go ahead and click subscribe. Over here you can find some of my best live trading videos and please if you have any questions let's have a discussion in the comments below.